Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. That's right, I'm back for a whole new season. It's the same set though because I am on a bit of a budget. I've changed up the format of the videos. So instead of going out every week, Oh, they're going to go out every couple of weeks and the reason behind that is I really wanted to give you guys at home more of a background story behind the people that you see in the videos and what their motivations for treatment are, what it is that they're looking to achieve and really how they feel about it afterwards. Um, there's also going to be a few tidbits in there so they will be including their age which is something that literally gets asked every time I put a new video out so we will be talking about that and I'm also going to cover exactly which products I'm going to use in each area as well. So to celebrate this whole new season I'm going to be starting off with a his and his video. So the first his I've got right with me Hello. Hi. So why don't you introduce yourself? Um, my name's Damon. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Devon um, and I'm currently a first year dental student in Leeds. So yeah, I've had an early midlife crisis and gone back to uni. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks contestant number That's one. Good. Thank you. Why don't you tell us a bit about your motivations for treatment? Um, so basically I just want to look better. Ultimately, um, that's why um, you know, I've thought about the kind of factors in my life that might be improved, but really I've looked at the risks. I think they're low and it just comes down to wanting to look a bit better. And mewing was going to take too long, right? Exactly, yeah. Mm. Months and months and months. <laughs> Why don't you explain to us what mewing is? Mewing? Oh. Um, so it's a theory of orthotropics where um, you try to maintain healthy mouth posture so you're meant to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and kind of lightly occlude your teeth together bite them together and it's kind of meant to act like your mouth to embrace um, so yeah the theory or the the evidence behind it is monkeys which have had their noses blocked mm -hmm. <laughs> in experiments their dental arches collapse mm -hmm. um, and their mandible retracts and also in humans, uh, like human skull specimens before pre-modern diets, um, they can see a similar thing. So when they ate pre-modern diets, they've got these lovely wide dental arches where they chewed a lot. And now in modern humans, they're kind of, um, you know, we're not chewing, we're not using our tongues and things like we used to. And it's all kind of just... So when I was a dental student, Mike Mew was really kind of derided as being a bit of a quack and he got kicked out of the um, orthodontic society. But he's really having a bit of a comeback on yeah. YouTube. No, yeah, Everybody's yeah. talking about it. Yeah, it's like 100 thousand followers now, I think. Yeah, um, yeah it's picked up speed. Are you doing it now? Months. I'm trying to. I'm trying to sort of when I'm resting and in lectures just, yeah. Is that a demo? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, live demo. Let's do it together. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Which areas were you specifically looking to treat? Um, so I think I, I've got a bit of a baby face, I think. So it would be nice to kind of get my jaw a bit wider, um, get my chin kind of projecting a bit more, um, just to get like a bit of a more masculine look, but also... Um, like being 28, especially the last three years, I've noticed the volume loss kind of start now. So um, just around my eyes, tear troughs and probably nasolabial fold areas. So we're actually seeing your partner for the next episode. What do you think he would say was wrong with you? Ooh, wrong with me. I think we're both quite like positive with each other. So we yeah. both said, you know, we love you as you are. Um, uh, but you know, it's fine having a partner that's had a bit of an upgrade, why not? I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> Is there anything that you're particularly worried about? Um, no, honestly not. Um, I think I've got a pretty good understanding of what the difference between a hazard and a risk is, and I've really researched the actual risks, um, behind the procedure. And... They're so minimal that I'm not worried. 
and I feel in very, very safe hands. That's the there's not, many, there's not many people, to be honest, in the country no. that are as qualified as you know. I've looked, I've checked. <laughs> That's true. Mm. It's quite unusual to get both medicine and dentistry mm. at the same time. Um, yeah, there are a few crazy uh, people in that bunch. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, Kishan, who's working in the clinic with me, um, he's another one of them, which is nice. It's nice to keep us together. Let's have a look at your picture then. I'm now going to give you the iPad. <laughs> And then okay. you, cool. for a change, can let me know where is it that you're thinking you want to have a little bit of a tweak. Sure. Do you want me to just have a draw? Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, we'll ignore the hairline. I don't <laughs> think you can help with that. I think the eyebrows look like they've kind of drooped down a bit. Uh -huh. So I'd maybe, um, yeah. you know, maybe some Botox there or some filler in there. This is good. Um, I think the tear trough area looks like it could do with a tiny bit. Um, this nasolabial fold area, these fillings maybe. When I smile, um, my nose sometimes depresses a bit. Uh -huh. So it'd be quite nice to kind of stop the, um, the bunny lines, uh -huh. as you say in your videos, and maybe just kind of elevate the, the, tip. the tip a little bit, yeah. Um, you know, cheekbones, you can't really go wrong with cheekbones, so. Yeah, we spoke about that. Why not? <laughs> um, and definitely the jaw, like I think that's every guy's dream really for me, like it's, it's really attractive quality. Um, so, you know, a nice square, mm -hmm. squared off jaw really. Then the jawline. Um, and really just finish with the lips. I mean, I like my lips and I like the shape, but they have lost volume. As you've in the got last older. Few years. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in the last two years, I've noticed. Um, so, yeah. Well, I think I'll just go home now. I don't <laughs> think I'm needed anymore. Why don't you take over the channel, Damon? Sure. What about making your chin a bit wider? Ooh. So, the chin should be the thigh <laughs> <laughs> of, of this distance here. Um, so, yeah, the chin mm. could certainly, I think, you know, come down a bit and definitely be made a bit wider as well. I definitely agree with you. Cool. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, let me just get the iPad because I'm going to show you um, something quite interesting. Were you a bit asymmetric? Yes, I think I am. Yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> this side of my face is very... Yeah. ...strong. Comes up quite a lot higher, doesn't it? Mm. Um, so... I think maybe you don't have quite as much volume on this side as the other. So maybe when we put some cheek filler in there, you might find that the smile does become a bit more symmetrical. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, being a, a dental student, I'm sure that you've noticed this already, but you do have a little bit more show of the lower teeth on this side okay. than on the other side. Not much. Yeah. And that's because, can you just see that there's a bit of a depression there? Oh, yeah. Which you mm -hmm. don't have on the other side. So all that. And actually, that's another reason why I kind of feel like I have to have my facial hair. Because if I shave it all off, it feels a bit mm -hmm. kind of jowly and I'm not as confident mm -hmm. without my beard. So it would be nice to, you know, be able to mm -hmm. have a clean shaven face and totally. not have to worry about it. Totally. Well, I agree with your assessment. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go and do it. Okay, so let's start with some rad yes. We're going to do 1.5 mils each angle of the jaw with a cannula. That takes us up to 3 mils there. That's not enough. We're going to double it. So another 1.5 mils per side, taking us to 6 mils. Then over to the ultra 4, and we're going to use 0 0.5 mils per temple. We're now at 7 mils in total. Switching now to some Juvederm Voluma. We're gonna use a cannula in the jawline to the marionette region, across to the chin crease. And we're gonna do 1.5 mils of Voluma per side there. Then we're gonna switch, again still using Voluma, we're doing the edge of the jaw here. And that's half a mil per side. Now switching to Juvederm Ultra 4, we're using a cannula, one syringe per cheekbone. So now we're up to a total of 13 mils. Switching now to some Juvederm Volift, 
we're doing half a mil in the base of the nose and then back to Voluma using a cannula going towards the chin we're using one mil per side and now I'm going to do the brow using some Juvederm Volip so we're doing half a mil the left side and then on the right 0.3 of a mil now we're going to switch to the lip and do again with a cannula using that same Juvederm Vol Lift 0.3 of a mil on the right upper lip and then 0.3 of a mil on the left so in total we've got 1.5 mils in the lip so now that takes us up to 18 and a half syringes but we haven't finished there oh no now we're going to go into the Botox and just keeping it classic doing the glabella the forehead and the tail of the brow to try and raise the brow okay so here we are we're now I think four weeks post procedure how did it go um so I think the kind of swelling went down after four or five days mm -hmm. um in terms of like tenderness to the touch it was maybe two three weeks mm -hmm. before that fully subsided what, like everywhere it was tender everywhere. Yeah. no no not everywhere it was just my jaw okay and my chin yeah um, the chin's kind of quite a tight space to inject so mm. it's pretty common for people to have uh, ongoing swelling even even till now like four weeks it's not uncommon for people to say oh yeah I did my chin and it's still a bit tender after four weeks so yeah totally normal like that did okay. you get any bruising or anything um yeah I got bruising on my jaw and my chin mm -hmm. um just because yeah they were the areas I think I wanted to focus on the most so mm -hmm. I think you pumped a bit <laughs> in there um went for it a bit yeah so it was it, so, but so, but it was fine in yes. general. Like it was yeah. copable. Yeah, you coped. Yeah. Okay. And did anybody say anything? Um, I had a couple of people ask if I'd lost weight. I had a few people just say I look good. One girl said, "You look really good. What are, your cheekbones are looking on form today? As if you could just like magic your cheekbones." <laughs> <laughs> but, well, apparently you, you can. can. <laughs> you can. Say, but um. Yeah, so a few comments, but no one had, like, obviously kind of guessed. Oh, so you didn't tell them? No. Okay. Well, I mean, no. maybe they'll see the video. Yeah. Like, uh, that. Well, two best friends I've told, but anyone I didn't tell hasn't noticed. Excellent. So, out of everything, what do you think was your favourite part? <clears throat> I think definitely the jawline mm -hmm. and chin area. Um, I mean, I have got my beard mm -hmm. back today, but I've had it clean shaven and I would never have done that before I just wasn't confident without my beard and um mm. yeah just the line is just so much better and mm. kind of reaches a bit further back and mm. the sort of front on as well like my face has more width which I cool. really love that sounds cool mm -hmm. so is there anything that you would do again um I think I would do oh it was the um what's it called Aquilix. Aquilix. yeah I don't yeah think like in hindsight I probably it was too much yeah maybe I didn't need it actually and it was probably a good job that you know we didn't uh -huh. um do that in the end but um I think I would like in future to do um maybe sort of more treatments around my eyes or just just like general plumping not like anything um too fillery yeah. <laughs> what, like more for as the skin in, quality yeah as in not to augment my face but uh -huh. actually just yeah improve the skin quality sort yeah. of injectable moisturizers that sort of thing yeah well I mean I, I guess that makes sense because like your structure is good now so uh -huh. yeah you know it's all about prevention you know, getting yeah. ahead of the curve with mm -hmm. these lines so yeah totally would agree with that okay guys so that's it for this week i hope you enjoyed the video join me again in two weeks time where i will be having another patient in the hot seat i'll see you guys again then see you later